Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a programming assistant for the St. John's County Public Library System and you are watching In the Bubble with Beth, a program where we make things. Today I'm going to be making a paper collage. Um, it will be a um, wildlife landscape scene and I'm basing it on a book that I checked out from the public library system. So let's go ahead and get started. There's all kinds of different resources that you can get inspiration from. Um, this is a book of Henry Matisse's artwork. Um, in his later years, he did a lot of paper cutouts. Um, and sometimes they were paper cutouts with gouache on top like this. Um, and sometimes they were just straight up paper cutouts. Um, another source is the children's book art author, um, Eric Carle. Um, he actually painted the paper and then would make collage, um, different collage pieces. And those are kind of fun to look at and think about um, different um, ideas that you could make your own collage. I'm going to be using a book that, that wasn't collage at all. It's um, a book of Audubon prints, um, The Birds of America. And I thought it would be fun to um, look at a picture. I was gonna try to make this, like a collage version of this uh, pink spoonbill. I think spoonbills are beautiful birds. We have them here in um, St. John's County. And um, so I'm going to, just using paper and scissors and glue, I'm going to try to make a version of this Audubon picture. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so to get started, I've got a pair of scissors. You could also use an X-Acto knife blade. I have some glue. Um, I'm using Elmer's clear glue, but you can use whatever kind of glue you want. Um, I have as my base, just a piece of, kind of a larger piece of white paper, but you can use whatever size paper you want um, to do your collage onto you. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use different colored paper. I have some some pieces that are just different colors and they're smaller and then I also have um, I have some pads of paper. This is sheets of different pinks which would probably be helpful with my spoonbill and then I have another one that's just different colors. Um, so depending on what size um, pieces that I'm going to use um, to cut out if I need you know little tiny pieces or a bigger strip um, that will determine which paper I'm using. I've also gone ahead and um, for myself made a couple of photocopies of the picture in the book and that's just for um, you know there's going to be times where I'm just going to go ahead and cut straight into the paper if I'm going to be you know, making grass pieces or something like that. But if I'm, I don't feel super confident about just cutting out the shape of this bird. So I thought I could cut out a photocopy of the bird and then use that as a template to um, trace out different pieces. So that's what I'm going to do. So now I have cut out and glued on some grass and also just a couple different shades of um, grays and um, sand and blues to um, just give the impression of maybe the mud on the bank and sand and a little bit of water. Um, I've cut out my photocopy of my bird and now I'm going to start cutting out the pieces of the bird. Um, I'll trace different um, parts of the bird onto different colors and glue that together. And there you go. Here is a collage of a impression of an Audubon painting from my library book. If you want some more ideas um, about doing collage or other paper art projects that you can work on, 
Um, just ask anybody at your St. John's County Public Library system. We have all kinds of great um, resources that you can use, such as Paper Cuts, 35 Inventive Projects, or the resource, Resourceful Artist, um, Exploring Collage and Other Mixed Media Techniques. Or if you want to um, work on a family project, um, this book, Collage Workshop for Kids, is another great resource. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun, and I hope you did as well. Um, please keep watching the St. John's County Public Library System's website, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel for all kinds of great programming, and we hope to see you in the library very soon. Bye-bye!